Welcome to the podcast on cardiopulmonary exercise testing, also known as CPEX. Your doctor recommended that you have this test since you'll be having surgery. This test can help your team of doctors to tailor your preoperative care, surgery, and postoperative care to your needs. This podcast will help to prepare you for your upcoming CPEX test. This podcast tells you how to prepare for CPEX before coming to the hospital, what to do at the hospital on the day of your test, what the preliminary test preparations are, what equipment you will wear during the test, how the test works, and what to expect afterwards. Before arriving at the hospital, please take note of the following requirements. Take your medication as usual on the day of the test and bring them with you to the appointment. Since you will have to ride a bicycle, please wear comfortable clothing and note that you will cycle in your shoes. In order to record the most accurate readings, we ask that you please not eat for one and a half hours prior to the test, have any caffeine or nicotine on the day of the test, or wear nail varnish on the day of the test. If your test is at University College Hospital, then on the day of the test, make your way to University College Hospital's main building at 235 Euston Road. Take the lift to the first floor of the podium and head to Clinic D. If your test is at the Royal Free Hospital, go to the Royal Free Hospital on Pond Street and make your way to the Interventional Radiology and Cardiology Unit on the ground floor. Tell the receptionist of your arrival and wait for a staff member from the lab to come and speak with you. The exercise physiologist will come and meet you and ask you to fill out a questionnaire on your fitness level. The physiologist will also ask you if you are willing to have your information anonymously stored on the hospital's database for research purposes. Lastly, the physiologist will measure your height and weight. Once in the examination room, the physiologist will explain the test to you. You will then be asked a series of questions on your heart and lungs. The physiologist will ask you to blow into a machine that measures your breath. Then the physiologist will measure your blood by pricking your finger. To take measurements of your heart and lungs, the exam uses different equipment. You will sit on the bicycle, which will be adjusted to your height, and the physiologist will strap your feet to the pedals. Two heart monitors attached to your chest and back will measure your heart rate. A band strapped around your arm will measure your blood pressure. A sensor clipped onto one finger will measure the oxygen levels in your blood. A soft rubber mask fitted to your face will measure your breathing. But do not worry, the mask will not restrict your breathing. You are now ready for the test. The actual test will take about 20 minutes. Here is a short video of what a test will look like. Sit on the bicycle for three minutes without cycling. The physiologist will tell you when to begin. Please cycle at about 60 revolutions per minute. There is a screen on the bicycle that tells you how many RPM you are doing. The cycling will be easy at first. Soon, the resistance will build on the bike, as if you are going up a hill. We aim for you to cycle up the hill for about 8 to 12 minutes. Once you can no longer cycle, the resistance will stop, but you will continue to cycle very slowly for a few minutes. The physiologist will then ask you to stop cycling, but to stay seated on the bicycle for a couple of minutes. Please remember to keep going as long as you can at 60 RPM, and to give it your best effort. It's important that you try not to speak during the test. However, if you feel unwell, please let the physiologist know. Once you are off the bicycle and the physiologist has removed all the gear, you are free to go. The physiologist will have a look at the information gathered during the test to write a report that will be sent to your team of doctors. This concludes this podcast on your cardiopulmonary exercise test. You should now know what the test is used for, the various preparations necessary before the test at home and at the hospital, what the test is like, and what to expect afterwards. If you have any questions or concerns about the test,
please do not hesitate to ask the physiologist on the day of your test.